Today, the House Judiciary Committee is expected to spend several hours reviewing the case against the president, the evidence they've gathered, the witness testimony that they have brought forward. And that will be important because the committee is expected, perhaps as early as this week, to write the articles of impeachment, the specific allegations against the president. The president has said this is a witch hunt, a hoax, partisan, unfair to him, and his Republican allies point out that no Republicans on Capitol Hill have decided to sign on to impeachment, making it all the more historic and important as it unfolds this week. More coming up on Today. Again, you can watch today's testimony right here on Local 6. Coverage is scheduled to begin at 8 our time. Three U.S. Navy sailors are being hailed as heroes. The Navy says they sacrificed their lives and saved others when a gunman opened fire last week at a Florida naval base. As John Lawrence shows us, now authorities are trying to figure out what led a Saudi Air Force officer to open fire. A dignified transfer to Dover Air Force Base Sunday for the three Navy sailors who officials say didn't run from danger when a gunman opened fire at Naval Air Station Pensacola. Airman Mohammed Hytham, Ensign Joshua Watson, and Airman Apprentice Cameron Walters died Friday when they ran toward the shooter. On behalf of the entire Navy, I extend my sincere and deepest sympathies to the families of the sailors who lives were taking during this heinous act. No word yet on a motive, but authorities say they're working with the presumption that this was an act of terror. This allows us to take advantage of investigative techniques that can help us more quickly identify and then eliminate any additional potential threats to the rest of our community. The gunman was identified as Mohammed al-Shamrani, a Saudi Air Force officer. The 21-year-old was killed after exchanging gunfire with two deputies. You know, you have foreign military personnel coming to our base. Uh, they should not be doing that if they hate our country. All witnesses, including some Saudi nationals, are being questioned, a U.S. official told CNN. We are working with every single international and domestic partner to ensure that we vet every single lead as necessary. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The Pensacola attack was the second deadly shooting at a military base last week. Two civilian workers at the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard were killed Wednesday after a U.S. sailor opened fire there. There is no known motive with either shooting. Now, weather on the sixes. Coming up on 630. You know, that's the part that gets to me is that they'll, that they'll uh, share references that there's no known motive in either shootings. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. And how come people are putting out these false accusations that there's no known motive? motive. There is a known motive in anybody that wants to do bodily harm or take somebody else's life. And that motive is a derivative that comes from evil. It's the same thing whenever in the Bible, whenever uh, the two brothers, Cain killed his brother Abe, or Abe killed his brother Cain, whichever way it went, but there is a known motive in anyone that wants to bring harm and hurt into an individual's life. But the main motive in regard to the Arabs, the Arab Spring, is that they want to dominate and control society all over the world. Instead of it being controlled by the Christian society, they want it to be controlled by a demonic occult society. And that's exactly what these extremists uh, are, are doing towards trying to bring this type of atmosphere of hate into our society over here. In addition to what they've done to us during 9-11, People need to wake up and acknowledge what the heck is going on and what is in behind it. Who is motivating it? Who is sponsoring it? Who is 
in behind these type of attacks. And until the American people are willing to wake up, it's only going to intensify and get worse and worse and worse pertaining to a bloody road ahead. The very same thing that I uh, put on a t-shirt in 2005 trying to warn this government about and I got punished because of trying to do the right, fair, good Samaritan thing and putting out an advisory of telling people of what was to come. Right now, we're looking at a weatherman. This weatherman is telling us about a live uh, Doppler shot here that is occurring pertaining to moisture moving into this particular area. This man is giving out advisories. Advisories towards not only what's going to happen within the next few hours, but advisories towards what's going to happen later on this afternoon towards this um, this type of weather event changing over from a rain event over to a possible snow and ice event. He's giving out advisories. He's trying to warn the people ahead of time what to expect out of this particular weather event. It's the same purpose that God brings forth prophets and messengers into society that society is supposed to listen to and pay a close attention to. But for the past 30 years, they wanted to announced me as me being somebody that was either an idiot or fraudulent or somebody that was trying to do the very opposite towards trying to harm them or hurt them in the regard towards me giving out advisories. I have made these claims before and I will make these claims again. We do not see nobody ushering in towards wanting to do any type of mischievous bodily harm to this particular individual right here or we do not see the authorities moving in towards wanting to try to uh, arrest this person because this person is telling us what he believes is going to occur according to his instruments, according to his knowledge that he has and the, and the, and the instrumentation that he has. He's trying to warn us or give us advisories ahead of time Towards what to expect. Towards what to expect. The same way with the individual that's holding this pointer right now. That has tried desperately to tell the not only the American people, but the world what to expect. And instead of them treating me like they treat this guy, they treat me as if I'm some sort of a, a villain. Like I'm some sort of an idiot. Or like I'm trying to... Uh, uh, hustle them uh, towards manipulating them in some sort of way. The Bible was written by somebody else. The Bible was inspired by godly men and women that took on the lead from the Holy Master pertaining to God. The Bible was not designed and written to want to harm and hurt people, but it was designed to want to help people, especially in saving people from a lost world. That was the whole concept of Jesus ever coming into society was to save the lost, not to crucify the lost, but to save the lost, to help the lost, to turn people's lives around. I have been attacked again and again and again times a hundred since I have stood out into the eyes of society, but yet now I get no type of positive recourse from all these churches and from these people that are steadily bombarding me by either ignoring me or allowing for these type of, of actions to occur in my life. 
eventually God will put an end to this because you do not continue to attack the innocent. You do not continue to demonize those that are trying to bring forth a godly message and thinks that there won't be severe repercussions and consequences on account of it. And that's one reason why that we're seeing things intensify and towards going the opposite direction. Rather than going in the direction of peace and utopia, it's going in the direction of chaos and, and more hardship upon to society because people are not listening. Do we listen to our weatherman? Well, sure we do. If we're going to have to be driving or if there's a crop to be planted or, or there's a harvest to be taken out, it means sometimes all the difference in the world if you know what to expect. If it's going to be sunshiny today, or if it's going to be rainy today. It can make all the difference in the world towards how you prepare the the uh, beginning phases of your day. Towards, towards whether or not you're going to wear something that's going to repel water. Or are you going to wear something cool and loose? Or if you're going to wear something that's going to be considered warm because of a cold temperatures coming in. It makes all the difference in the world. Whenever we know what to expect. That's been the whole primary reason for the windmill ministries bringing forth its messages to the people. But instead of the people acknowledging them in a positive form, they have been acknowledging them in a negative form. And that is what has brought so much misery to the founder of the windmill ministries. Once more, these attacks that continue to keep happening pertaining to these terrorist attacks, there is a reason, a source to look at of why people are doing this. To say that we do not have an ideal is blakely wrong and it just shows the arrogance of the person that's saying that because we do have a, a known reason why and one individual wants to commit harm and hurt and death to another individual. We know why that occurs. Science knows why that occurs. The governments, doctors, knows why that occurs. Now, are we going to acknowledge it and speak the truth about it? Good luck to all of us. And shalom. We're not children. 